It is possible to break the part of your brain that perceives color. Allow me to explain. Achromatopsia gets its name from A meaning without and chroma meaning color. Therefore, people with achromatopsia live their lives without color. This can happen because of the eyes or because of the brain. If a person is born without the photopigments necessary to react to different wavelengths of light entering their eyes, they have congenital achromatopsia. These people will never experience color in the typical way. This is similar to other forms of colorblindness, such as typical red-green colorblindness, in that it is inherited from parents. But there is also a type called cerebral achromatopsia, where brain damage eliminates a person's color perception. These people lose the ability to process color within their brains, despite generally having perfectly healthy eyes. And in some cases, they also lose the ability to remember what color ever looked like in the first place, losing color from their dreams as well. The most famous case of cerebral achromatopsia occurred in 1986. A 65-year-old painter who was known for his vivid use of color in his artwork was in a car accident. Afterwards, he couldn't perceive or remember colors. He described the color of his wife's skin as rat-colored and was repulsed by it. He would often limit himself to eating foods that were normally black and white, such as coffee and yogurt, because food without color looked unappetizing. Eventually, he began to paint again, first using black and white in line with his new perception of the world, but later experimenting with colors, even though he couldn't see them. Where things start to get really strange is that it is possible to lose color vision in only half of your visual field. For example, objects on your right may appear to have normal colors, while on your left they all appear gray. So if a car was driving by, starting on your left, you would have no idea what color it was until it passed the midpoint, when suddenly the color would appear. This condition is called hemiachromatopsia. This is possible because of the two hemispheres of your brain, each of which has a color processing center. This is called area V4, which is located near the very back and bottom of your cerebral cortex. Your two V4 areas each function for one half of your visual field, each contributing to the contralateral halves of each eye. That is, your left hemisphere, V4, processes color from the right half of your vision for both of your eyes and vice versa. And finally, the opposite of achromatopsia, called chromatopsia, exists too. This is when you see extra color. This can occur, for example, during a migraine. The lesson to take away from all of this is that color is created inside of your brain. All that really exists outside of your head are various wavelengths of light that your eyes and brain sort into arbitrary categories. This is why we might never know whether the color that you call red looks the same as the color that I call red. We rarely think about the steps that we have to take in order to see color until we learn that our brain can break.